All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to Day of Infamy. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video where I was playing with the Car 98 on Sicily, and I have to say I had quite a dick load bunch of fun. I think that you can quote me on that. And um, basically, I figured that one of the players that I was playing with on my team, he was doing really, really good, oh, wrong button, with a uh, mouse or a C96 SMG. So I figured, why not try and pick the C96 and uh, try and do good with that? Now, obviously, I am, uh, I'm definitely not the best at Day of Infamy. I have my moments where I flank and spank like four people, but I would say I'm an I'm an average player, maybe slightly above. It's because I have a lot of experience playing shooters, uh, as far as that goes anywhere in Day of Infamy. Um, because most this shooter is, it's brutal. It's brutal, like RO2, where you basically get shot once and you're dead. Um, but at the same time, it's quick, almost like a Call of Duty or a Siege, where. You know, if someone rushing you with an SMG and you have a rifle, you're fucking dead. Also, I can barely hear myself talk right now, but that's something totally different. I keep pressing the wrong button. So we're defending Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Uh, let's go away from it because I can barely hear myself. And also, um, one, th one thing I should have probably mentioned is that I gave myself an extended magazine on uh, my C96, so I should be able to do a couple, uh, a couple more, more bullets before I have to reload. Now, there was guys up here. I don't see any more though. Anything in front of me is going to be hostile though. So I'm just kind of waiting for a peek. That was an enemy. Don't know if I killed that guy though. Let's look up. It's past. I killed that guy, I'm pretty sure. There's a guy up there. I think it's this is a nine millimeter. Um, so I'm not really in the uh, in the business of trying to outpeak that guy. Don't know if I got that kill. Someone definitely did. Either him him or I. Thing is, this gun is uh, it's not really made. Oh, I should probably run back. This gun is not really made for these. Uh, oh, I'm running back. I meant I ran the, the wrong way. Shit. Oh, never mind. We're defending it. This gun isn't really made for that. You know, long range, very effective or accurate fire. Uh, you know, you can suppress people's uh, people's dicks off from close range. Um, but this thing is definitely not meant for long range engagements. I'm just trying to. Switch between semi and full for when I really need to switch to semi. Like for example, if there would be a guy up there. But uh, other than that, I, mean, I guess I could have done that on semi too and waste a little bit less bullets. But so far, so good. Got ourselves probably two, maybe three kills. There's guys that are really close. Is this clear? He's dead. Definitely didn't sound like it was clear. There were definitely some allies around here. Oh god, where did I go? Shit, did I guys jump down? Oh fuck! Okay, that's a friendly. I thought that was an enemy. Check downstairs again, I guess. Thing is with this gun, and that's probably the best uh, the power it has, is the um, RPM. I was about to say RPF for some reason. The RPM this gun has in uh, in CQB is probably unmatched. Maybe the MG42 comes close, but this gun is basically oh god, oh fuck. This gun is basically a hand a handheld MG42. Now the thing is, I've been re reloading a lot with uh, magazines that are 
probably close to empty soon. So I'll be running out of, uh, as you can see, I can keep reloading. Uh, there's no like way for me to refill my bullets in my magazine, so I have five mags. But, okay, well, I was constantly reloading like a dumbass, but I was constantly reloading because all my magazines were basically half empty, or at least I had one less bullet than it and full for sure. Now I just totally got destroyed. Whew. Uh, what's my... Oh, I managed to walk away with five kills, especially that guy behind me. I have no clue how he fucking didn't kill me. He was right by me. Guess he had a pistol, but I showed in my Car 98 video that pistols are totally fine and actually pretty decent weapons to attack with, considering they are equally as good. Also, for some reason, Siri decided to turn on. Fuck you. Where am I going? All right. Oh, I want to make it back in. That's a flamethrower. Let's not fuck with that. There's no... There, there is friendly fire in this game. Um, granted, friendly fire for friendlies takes longer. Well, that's always friendly fire on friendlies. <laughs> when you shoot a friendly, it'll do less damage on him. So let's say, let's say a regular person, let's say like an enemy takes 10 uh, bullets. A friendly will take 20, but it won't be 20. I heard that guy running, or I heard him screaming something. That's why I just kind of pre-fired that corner. So we're up at seven kills. Anyway, so there is some sort of a little bit of a less uh, damage, like there's, there's sort of a damage reduction, I could say, for friendlies when you shoot them. But I think the flamethrower just will kind of burn your face off regardless. The thing is, there's a couple of ways for these guys to run inside this objective. That's why I got killed there earlier. So I'm, I hear a flamethrower going ham. I don't know if that's a friendly or not. Okay, let's go back here again. It's gonna get your your quick finger ready. What is it? Oh, fuck, fuck. oh shit! Fuck! Oh, don't know how I didn't kill him. I put like thing is this gun doesn't do a lot of damage I've noticed for example, um, I don't know like the car It was always a one-shot kill as far as I'm aware It was almost always a one-shot kill if not always a one-shot kill with this the mouser obviously it's a way smaller cartridge and they kind of need to Make it you know usable otherwise everyone would use the C96 with that fire rate if it allowed you to kill everyone with you know one or two shots So I think the mouser definitely takes more bullets to kill someone Than the car which makes sense if you look at the size of the cartridge and everything now um, Wave deploying in 26 seconds, so I'm probably gonna kick and uh, we got 20 seconds left I got seven kills. I'm in the, I'm in the top three it's so loud right now. My volume, I mean, obviously for you in a video, it'll be uh, less less loud. But for me right now, I'm only at 35% audio. Actually, let me go back to 30, because that was really loud. I could barely hear myself think, let alone talk. That's insane. All right. Uh, let's make it back to A. Jump right into the fray right here. Dumbass. Kind of want to stop them from moving in in the first place, so I can just kind of block those people off from really reaching. There's a guy across the road. Fuck! Did I headshot that guy? I got two kills, so I must have at least... I think I killed the guy across the road and the guy who, like, ran past me. But I definitely didn't. I definitely wasn't able to... I probably thought I killed that guy who was, like, that close to me. Like, blood came out of him. Maybe it was just a glitch or whatever. I can get the fuck inside. Oh! Damn it! That's Tommy again. Sure. I don't know what's going on with this. I just wanna, I wanna respawn. We got 30 seconds. They, the enemies have to capture A or they lose. Cause we're at 22 seconds left to defend. 
We got six seconds left for a reinforcement wave. Come on, come on. We have to hold A. I'm not gonna go directly for A though. I'm gonna try and cut off any baddies that it might be over here. I'm expecting at least one Thompson guy to just sit around here somewhere. He's dead. Charge upstairs. Friendly. Get ready to gack. Alright, we cleared this. So we just have to hold A now. Yes! There we go. I got the last kill. Thus, securing the area. And I think I walked away with 11 kills. Uh, and two, four deaths. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, what we'll do, we'll uh, just jump into another round, obviously. I'm not really sure if we're going to do another round on this map. Oh, I guess we're going to play as the... Well, I don't want to play as the... I want to play. All right, so uh, we're doing the second half of the C96 recording, but it's for you. It only took about a second. For me, this took a whole night because I actually had to quit playing, and now it's a new day, uh, which is actually was kind of really weird because, like I said, for you, you'd have no clue. Maybe I played it the game after. Maybe I played it a month after. I'm not playing it a month after. This is literally the next day. Um, yeah, um, we're back. I mean, you've not been away. I've been away. Um, now, hopefully, I can do good. Uh, I actually really love the Dunkirk map. It's pretty CQB with some more open areas. Um, it's not really my favorite game mode. Uh, I like the game mode where one team attacks and one team defends. Um, because I feel like it's a little bit of a... Maybe a little bit less of a clusterfuck. But this one is... I mean, this game mode is pretty decent. Um, basically, you have a couple of, uh, of, its, of respawn waves. Um, and every time your team captures an objective from the enemy or from neutral, you get an extra wave. As you can see, we just captured C, so the Germans just got an extra wave to respawn. Now, um, the allies will probably capture A. There we go. Now they got an extra wave for respawn. The person who captures, or the team that captures B gets an extra respawn. And then from that point on, the only way to get more respawn waves is if your team captures an objective. Now, this gun... It's still one of my favorites when it comes to the German weapons. The fact that you can just unload a shit ton of 9 mil on someone is amazing and never gets old. And the fact that you can get the extended mag upgrade for this is just insane. Now I kind of want to infiltrate the objective. Oh, never mind. It's already very Germany here. Um, I just want to make sure that we have the power to keep oh there we go no i'm friendly there's a bad guy over there well that's not a bad guy necessarily but it's a bad guy in my eyes because you know obviously because i'm considering i'm the germans this weapon has so much kick in single that it's just almost ridiculous like hang on look at this I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely not the easiest gun to shoot. Like I said, you're not using this gun to get some. Oh, that's a grenade or a smoke grenade. You're not using this gun to get some long range kills. You're using this gun to get the uh, the CQB kills. Now we're already capturing A. Might as well push up forward and help them capture the Ju-52. Ah, damn it! I didn't. Fuck. Damn it. All right. All right, all right, all right, come on. I wanna, I actually don't know what happens when you capture A. Do you, do you, does your team immediately win? I mean, we're only a, about a sixth of the way there. Those guys inside a plane. All right, three seconds left. And we gotta run all the way there. Which creates a good dynamic of, um, do I feel like dying? And when I die, how many waves are left? Is there any waves left? And what is the respawn timer? And then, you know, having to run 200 meters to objective A uh, gives the defending team, well, not really defending team, but gives the opposite team in this case a, a little bit of breathing room. Obviously, now the Germans are already halfway there and we're pushing hard. Um, so it might not be the breathing room they need, but it's just some extra breathing room they have to try and resecure their objective and hold their ground. Doesn't seem like it's going to doing them much good because, like I said, I'm already back here. 
not really being stopped. That guy's got wrecked. That's a friendly, I barely noticed that. Nine mil doesn't do a ton of damage, <laughs> but it does kill people. Oh god, he's got him right there. God. Let's go up, let's go up, let's go up. We got him. If you're able to just keep this gun on target, it's basically like an MG42, a horrible MG42. That's how I look at it. A little bit more of a, uh, well, not so much useful, because that sounds stupid, but uh, a more, I don't know, user-friendly MG42. So, so I please to say, no, that's not how I'm saying that. So, like, how do you say that in English? So I dare to say, I don't know, it feels very com- Oh, that's no, going kill me. Goddamn burning smoke everywhere. It's very nice to use in a CQB environment. That's how I, what I was trying to say, but I'm just stupid. Now, I don't want to go into the Willy P. Oh, well, I guess that works, so I guess we're going to play another round. I do want to play as the Germans again, but I think it might switch our teams around, which kind of sucks. So now i got to re-switch teams around. I think that's what happens now, anyway. Oh, no, never mind. It doesn't. Okay, nice. We get to play with the Mauser one more time. So, uh, as you can see, we're 5 on 1. Not too bad. I mean, I'm not 15 on 1 like that guy, but hey, you know. I'm sort of new to the game. I've only played 12 hours. Um, I wouldn't say I'm in any way, shape, or form amazing at the game. Um, I do like the game, and it's it's, it's damn good. And um, I have to say that this is, not, I'm, this is not a sponsored video. This is not a video that I'm being paid to make or forced to make, but... Um, I do have to say, from my personal opinion, that this game, when it's like, I don't know, I think it was like 8 or $9 last time on Steam. I mean, what does 8 or $9 gets you? get you? Like, I don't know, uh, a McDonald's meal? Not even anymore, does it? Maybe, well, maybe it does get you a McDonald's meal, but, uh, that's a kill. Ah, damn it! Damn it! I got three of them there, though. Fucking three. That was amazing. Anyway. Anyway. What does... Wait, so I killed the one guy in the doorway. I killed the guy in front of me. And I killed another guy in the doorway, which was O and B. That wasn't that terrible then. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is... Don't go to McDonald's one night. Or don't order, like, a Subway sandwich. I got a team killed. Just keep eight bucks in your pocket. Wait for the next Steam sale. And buy this game. Not because I'm being paid to say this. I mean, I would have to legally disclose that to you if I was, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Well, I'm not disclosing it, I'm just saying I'm not. Whatever. Um, but for eight bucks, this game is so worth. And especially like me, if you like World War II, if you like shooters. And I have to say, playing RO2, playing uh, Siege, playing games like that, which are... Well, Siege is a bit... Like, actually, Siege might be a bad example, because Siege is quite fast itself, but... Playing games like RO2 or um, Arma, which are just so different from this game, obviously. They're a lot slower, they're a lot more methodical. Playing Day of Infamy, and this is going to be a good thing, not a bad thing in my opinion, allows me, as a person who enjoys those slower games, to enjoy a very quick World War II based shooter. That might have been two kills there. Um, that's also sort of realistic because you cannot take a lot of bullets, you die fucking quickly, it's an amazing sounding game. Oh, damn, I'm gonna roll. The game sounds amazing, it feels amazing. Oh god! Ah! Well, I went up another three kills, so I definitely got a double kill upstairs. Um, and... Honestly, if you have eight bucks, if you're not going to McDonald's for one night in the week, or you've managed to save up eight bucks on Steam, or you got eight bucks, or whatever, highly recommend you buy this game for the quick, no nonsense, realistic but fast-paced shooting. As if, or, let's say you're playing RO2, but you think it's too slow, then this is your game. And I'm gonna stop sucking its dick. I don't want to sound like a shill. I'm not being paid. I just figured that. Sometimes I want to give my very honest opinion and if I thought the game was bad I would probably not be playing it right now or I would mention that I think the game was bad Like Blitzkrieg 
fucking three. I'm not going to do a Blitzkrieg three argument with myself because I'm just going to be super annoyed for the rest of the day that that game actually exists. But if you're the fucking developer of Blitzkrieg three, at this point, you should probably just consider deleting the EXE on Steam and just giving everyone twenty bucks back because it's not worth it. Anyway, that's a whole different argument. What I'm trying to say is I won't hold my mouth. Uh, if I think something's bad, I'll tell you that. If something's good like this, though, I'll tell you that. Oh shit, that's fucking really deep grenade. That was fucking rough. I think we can just go outside. This is always a bit risky. It takes all the bullets to kill someone. Well, compared to other guns in the game, that is. That's two more kills for the Germonies. I know there's a guy in there, but I need to reload. Oh, God! Okay, I heard the guy on top of me, but at the same time, I didn't want to not take my sight off the guy who was running. I also wanted to be prone because I thought maybe I have to reload. That was a pretty good run. We're 14 on 4. We're top of the team. Compa well, we're equal in score with the other guy who went 15 on one the first round. So we did caught up because I was five on one. The guy was 15 on one. Now I'm 14 on four and this guy's 18 on four. So if you look at it part by part, I did come up. I am beating him in score because of my objective capturing, which I think is quite important. Objectives in, especially in this game mode where attacking objectives and holding them means you get more reinforcement waves. Uh, obviously, is a very important part of the strategy and, you know, keeping your team in the fight at all times. I have to say, though, um, when I started playing with the Milestar 96, I didn't really necessarily think it was going to be the good gun that it is. Uh, but this has been nothing but an amazing, awesome surprise. Like, this gun is great. Especially, like... I I was playing it on, I forgot what map it is, it's a German map based on like 1945. Uh, it's a very open map with like a bridge and bunkers and stuff and... Nice! Oh damn it, he captured the fucking objective, so we won the round and got the most points. Oh, I got the most accurate somehow, even though, uh, obviously, um, I'm firing a billion bullets a second. I got top killer. Um, and then, well, I mean, not a bad game, but uh, there's Reichswald, that's the map. Like, on that map, the C96 can't really do much for you, but on this map, and on the more CQB maps, this is an amazing gun. Anyway, that was my Dave Infamy video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really will be looking forward myself to playing more Dave Infamy, and I hope you are looking forward to more Dave Infamy videos, too. Don't forget to see awesome. Do drop a like if you liked the video, and I would love to see you in the next one. Cheers!